Right, and so to just speak about the situation in Peketoni and in the country as a whole, we would like to speak today to Joseph Kagudi, who's the chair of the Nyumbakumi uh, board, and we thank you so much for joining us, and who brings along his expertise in governance in the country for decades. Uh, let's start with your thoughts on the revelation that the county officials in Lamu uh, ignored intelligence uh, information. Um, perhaps you can give us some insights into how intelligence flows in the country. Who knows what, when, and who then relays it, and then at what point does this information become actionable? You know, government is um, teamwork. Simple. Once in, in of uh, the members of uh, the security team gets that information either from the form or the grapevine, it is put under the scrutiny of that particular committee, relevant committee of the security. Mm -hmm. And then they take a position on how to act on it. In the case of uh, Lamo, I have no information as to whether it was um, put in the, in the hands of the committee or it was a communication that this is happening and it needed quick action. Because each of the departments which deal with security, they can take action and inform the others of what they are, they are doing. All right. Um, you know, in your time when you were a PC, you would sit down and chair security committee, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in every province, and that was the case. Um, if that was the case now, um, tell us about how it works now at the county level, and at what point then somebody decides, well, there's information, and it's of this nature, and with the attack that we saw, it's quite massive, and to then decide to not do anything about it. I, I would be very surprised, because that is an appreciation that there is this intending uh, attack is threatening life and property. What is expected is that that is, 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 is acted upon by creating an operation order. The operation order would be created either by the OCPD or the county commander mm -hmm. and enough strength is put to counteract, to deal with the threat that has emerged. And, and that, uh, of course, putting together that uh, team that would combat the yes. threat, yes. would it also involve asking for assistance from the national government at some point? That is the national government mm. at the local level. Mm -hmm. And there, has a, there is an appreciation. In each of uh, the security levels, there's something we call the uh, internal security scheme. Mm -hmm. That scheme shows the strength of that whole area. In the event of that threat having been appreciated, then somebody is able to say, I require more help or I am capable of meeting that or assisting and handling that particular matter. And so, of course, the fact that it was not actioned upon, uh, you know, if this information was made available to uh, those in Lamu County. Very surprising. Very, very surprising that uh, for all those hours, the murderers took over in a very innocent village or small township, uh, a township which is occupied by very small scale farmers. You know, I don't know whether you know um, Peketoni. Peketoni is a, a, is a settled area. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have subdivided the area to, to four or five acres. And then there's a town where the, a lot of uh, activity takes place. Between there and the, as you are going out uh, to the, uh, the Mkoe, we to Malidi Road, mm -hmm. then you come to uh, Mkunubi. Mm -hmm. After Mkunubi, all those are thousands and thousands of acres owned by individuals. One owned, owned 7,000. There's one of the biggest opposite Mkunubi opposite where the, this massacre took place, it is only 2,000 acres owned by, uh, called uh, Amuranj. Mm -hmm. Then you get people harassing persons of a very small area. They create a num such a large number of orphans, such a large number of uh, widows, but the guys who died, they have died. That's period. right. And so they, these other ones, you, you, you do not know what one would be thinking if that threat came in mm -hmm. and it was not handled. Mm -hmm. Hence, uh, us waiting because the, the President's the statement was clear, uh, the Minister's statement and even of the Inspector, Inspector General, General are very yes. clear mm -hmm. that they are disciplining those who 
by omission, uh -huh. by the offence of omission, uh -huh. will be punished. Okay. Uh, you've just mentioned and given us a good landscape of the area, you know, in Peketoni and in Lamu as a whole. And you have a clear understanding of this, the settlement schemes and the history behind this particular one. Um, you know, obviously, land coming to the fore of this. And not just in Peketoni, Joseph, but in many other areas of the country, land seems to be one of those things that we fight about, kill each other about, and that now um, is being blamed all of that um, historical injustice shall we say some people are now taking advantage of that how do we make sure that what happened in Peketoni does not happen in various other settlement schemes which we know are flashpoints during political campaigns during elections and perhaps now uh, as fodder by either terrorists or political agents as as the theories may be simple squeeze, squeeze out ignorance because people are exploiting what they call the victim's mentality. Mm -hmm. People do not seem to have been given the correct information. For instance, by around 1961, the set of lands that you are seeing, that's when the, all these situations were created. Mm -hmm. You go to Nyanza, for instance, the Abagusi were given Borabu. Mm -hmm. You go to the Luo, they were given um, Moroni. Ali alone, they were settled in the south. In fact, you get the, the Amaragori being settled in Migori. Mm -hmm. You go to, to Bugoma, the, the, there's a whole of the Togare and its schemes. Then Kakamega, you see the whole of Rugali. You go to, to Central, you see Nyandarwa. You go to Eastern, you see the same. This Ukambani land, or even the, as late as the 80s, Musangaren was being settled. You go to coast. That 1974 scheme generated who else wanted to go there. I was a deal, remember, mm -hmm. in, in, I would tell you, in Western. Mm -hmm. And when we asked whether there is anybody who wants to go and settle in um, uh, um, uh, Huko, uh, Lamu, what were they saying? We travel by OTC, a bus which was called <laughs> OTC. Yes, that's right. Usiku yote, Nairobi. So, huko. so what has happened is uh -huh. this. Magari's settlement scheme was created. Right. We settled, you know, it was supported by the Australians. Then uh, there is uh, an equivalent of Mpeketoni, uh -huh. this Hidi Magogoni was also settled. So what is the problem then? You're saying it's the victim's mentality? of the ignorance of the people by politicians. And I must say, the media not doing adequate homework on, on, on this problem. So do you think the concerns of those in Peketoni are not valid? There's nothing. What about uh, the minorities, the Bajunis and the Watas? Uh, 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 let me tell you, the first victim was a Bajuni, if you, if you read it. Mm -hmm. The petrol station, which was the first one, was Bajuni. Eternal investors. As you are leaving, say, Mukunubi, you are going to Itu, which is the next town, Malindi. Mm -hmm. Who is Malindi? The Italians. In fact, the lag, commercial language is Italians. But because of people wanting to exploit the, the victim's mentality, what do you have there? You get everybody is looking at a small okay. thing All right. called um, Peketoni. I'd like to refer you to the TGRC report, which did talk about um, Peketoni and saying that in some cases, uh, the allocation of land was, I quote, dubious and irregular in Peketoni. And this is a report that is yet to be actioned by the president or, you know, looked into in regards to say, okay, was there a problem in, in, in Peketoni and other areas and how can we sort that out? Um, but could there be some genuine victim? Victims, not just in Peketoni, but in other settlement schemes around the country, and how do we sort that out? You know, for me, that thing, you, know, you saw it in the presidential debate uh, last year. You saw it. Somebody saying 50% uh, of the country is owned by one. You know, total ignorance, exploiting until somebody is exposed by the. the so you committee. don't believe the TGRC no, report? No, 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 no. If, I don't even think they have uh, the whole of that is 500 acres. But as you leave Mukunumbi, all these farms, 7,000 acres, 8,000 acres, as you are going to Itu, just look at all that land. 7,000 acres, 15,000 acres, another 32,000 acres. Mm -hmm. Why are you bothered about 500 of those persons? Because of cheap politics. Okay. And you create murderers to go murder Kenyans. All right. And again, when I, I have told you about uh, Malidi mm -hmm. down there, mm -hmm. 
We have a whole set of scheme, of course, in Magarini. Yeah. But who has died even more? Those 15 who died the other side, they are all people from coast. Okay, all right. Who among them is Ikeda. Okay. What I'd like we are to asking is, uh -huh. can, can, can we get correct information? And can I ask Honorable Charity Giru, Please study and document and let everybody see what there is okay. on the whole of this. All right. I'd like us to uh, move uh, the conversation forward to Nyumbakumi, uh, which is something that you are working on at the moment. Could this be a solution? And I'll tell you why Kenyans might be scared now of, mm -hmm. um, you know, community policing and participatory security, um, you know, committees or meetings. Um, we've just talked about when we started our conversation, the fact that county officials in Lamu had intelligence, did not nothing about it and that was from within government circles so a lot of Kenyans are now looking at that and saying so what if I go and give information to the county officials and nothing is done about it similar to what we've just had happened in Lamu um, you know how do you then seek to reconcile this with the efforts to get Nyumbakumi out discipline those guys simple what is the meaning of uh, those clusters clusters you know what you're saying devolve security to the lowest cluster of family households, the households. And when they are there, they could be 50, they could be 100. They have, they have elected their committee. The chairman, the vice chairman, the secretary, they are, they are their own people. But you do agree the situation in Lamu now just puts a dent in, in terms of the credibility no, of no, the county no, no, officials? No, 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 no. If they did not take any action, they are disciplined. If you allowed me to explain the meaning of the concept of devolution of security to the lowest, so you get that cluster of about 50, even in your own estate. You have your chairman, but you now invite the service providers called the administration police, the KWS, if it's uh, near, near, mm -hmm. for, uh, mm -hmm. near, near our park, world. Yes. When they are there, they are writing minutes. And they say, this is where we are suffering. Okay. Remember, it's not security alone. Right. It could be environment, right. it could be health, okay. it could be this and this. Right. When they have written uh, their, 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 their requirements, then the government officials, the government policing agents, and service providers to these clans, they are now together. So the, the, this cluster has two objectives. Uh -huh. Prevent crime, mm -hmm. but solve the problems jointly uh -huh. so that the finger pointing between the security organs and the citizens is reduced. Okay. Remember, uh -huh. we have a very big gap between the citizens and the policing authorities. And that is what we are all trying to, 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 to bring. Because we have okay. also discovered, even in training, within the government policing mm -hmm. training organizations, we have held two meetings, Kigajo, APTC, uh, Kenya Wildlife. The gap is too wide because they are not training people to respect the citizens uh, and the citizens' views as number one. Okay, all right, okay. And uh, I think that's where we'll leave it at now in terms of just closing that gap mm -hmm. between the citizens and the police. We thank you for your time and we thank you for your insights into what's happening in Lamu, in Peketoni, and how this situation can be resolved.